Yellowstone supervolcano, USGS warns of explosive magma identified and it's a world ending, it would be a world ending eruption. Yellowstone volcano scientists identified the explosive magma three miles down below the surface. It's the uh, roof of the magma chamber of the supervolcano and uh, before sending a warning over a world ending eruption. The caldera inside Yellowstone National Park is dubbed a supervolcano because of its capacity to inflict global devastation in the event of a super eruption. Yellowstone is one of the 20 supervolcanoes worldwide. It was formed during the last three big events that took place over the past 2.1 million years, 1.3 million years, and 630,000 years ago. It's located on the northwest corner of Wyoming, towards Montana and Idaho, and the area is constantly monitored by USGS for signs that history could repeat itself in this way. The scientist in charge of Yellowstone Volcano Observatory is Mike Poland. He details how researchers uncovered the secrets of the system during the USGS new video titled The Yellowstone Volcano Observatory Overview, Monitoring Hazards and Noteworthy Results. Kindly support my Patreon channel because YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. You'll find very interesting, informative material there. Well, it's at least five videos that are totally different from what I have on my regular YouTube channel. Things that are censored on YouTube. I hope you enjoy them. You'll find the link in the description box below. Dr. Poland said, the Yellowstone system is composed of multiple magma chambers. We have this mantle melting anomaly deep beneath the surface. But there is a couple of magma chambers that this melting anomaly feeds. One is quite deep, 15 miles or so beneath the surface, and is full of very low viscosity magma called basalt. That's the kind of thing that erupts from Hawaii, low viscosity, it flows very easily. And we remember that uh, the Kilauea uh, lava was flowing at about 18 miles an hour. It looked like a fast running river. But anyway, Mike Poland says here, in turn, that basaltic magma body feeds a higher level reservoir of rhyolite. Rhyolite is a sticky magma prone to be more explosive. And this sits about three miles beneath the surface in parts of Yellowstone. Dr. Poland went on to explain how these chambers are not thought to be full of molten rock. He said, but don't think of these as gigantic magma bodies that are just full of roiling, boiling liquid material. In fact, most of this is solid. The upper reservoir is only 5 to 15 percent molten, and, is, and this lower reservoir is only about 2 to 5 percent molten, he says. That's a mushy plastic plasticity zone with little bits of melt in the middle, and that's what the Yellowstone magma system looks like. And this is what drives the hazards in the region. He says, now, of course, the most well-known hazards are the big explosions. That's what everyone talks about. Dr. Poland sent a warning also about the capabilities of Yellowstone in the event of a super eruption. He said, everyone knows about the giant world-ending explosions. They are very big explosions, not end-of-the-world events, but there have been a few of these that have happened in the last two million years. Three of them, there was one that happened 2.1 million years ago, a smaller 1.3 million years ago, and 630,000 years ago we had the formation of the Yellowstone caldera within the park. If that size of things happened today, it would be very devastating to the central part of the U.S. We've done simulations on how ash would fall, and ash would blanket much of the U.S. This is probably what happened when this caldera first formed 631,000 years ago. But the expert detailed the kind of eruption that is more likely to be seen. He said, but the chances of this sort of event are very remote. They occur once or twice every million years. The interval between these things, there's over 700,000 years in between events. What happens more often are lava flows. Since the big last big Yellowstone explosion 631,000 years ago, there have been about two dozen lava flows and you can see them here in these different colors. It says, the initial pulse of lava flow activity was 500 to 600,000 years ago. 
we have these orange bits of lava come out, and then there was another pulse of activity that occurred about 170,000 years ago to 70,000 years ago, and that gave us all of this pink shaded lava here, he said. This is by Express UK, Callum Hoare. Thank you for your support, and please leave your comments. Thank you.